Hello and welcome to this video. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about a very, very, very common error in JavaScript. And here it is. Uh, uncaught type error cannot set property enter HTML of null. So the main error we're, we're paying attention to is just this. Cannot set property of null. And figure out why this is happening and how to fix it and how to avoid it. So if we take a look at this, I got a script tag in here, document .get element by ID. So I'm trying to select an element or a tag with the ID of output, and I'm trying to change its inner HTML, which is the text in between the tag. So if I had high here, the inner HTML of this div is high. Okay, and I'm just trying to change the inner HTML of it to high, and that's it. So nothing, nothing too crazy, something pretty simple. But you look at this and go, why isn't this working, right? So we look at this, the code is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. Syn there's no syntax errors or anything like this. The problem is just how JavaScript works. JavaScript loads line by line. So it loads the doc type, loads all of these tags, gets to the script tag, comes in here and then runs this code. The problem is the browser hasn't gotten down to this div yet. So the div hasn't been loaded into memory. So I can't select anything in JavaScript that doesn't exist. So what happens is this tries to go out there and select the div or the, the element or the tag with the ID of output, but the, it doesn't exist yet because the browser hasn't rendered the code this far down yet. So it's really easy to fix. All you gotta do is just take your script tag and just put it underneath. And so it's usually what you'll see is people will put their script tags right above the closing body tag down here and that just gives everything that just gives everything time to load before the script starts selecting things and manipulating things and then once i change that and i save it then it works with no problem just because the div had time to load first and then it came down here and ran the code and it was able to select it and do what it needed to do so hope that helped that tip would have been really useful for me when I first started this stuff out. But if you want to learn more, be sure to check out our website at skillforge.com. And we got a bunch of cool trainings there. And yeah, have a great day and we'll talk to you later.